Hey everybody, it's me Stacy at Scrapbooking Made Simple and after my last YouTube video I had several people request that I put my face on camera so you can see who's talking to you. Well this is me and I want to tell you we had an amazing day in the store today. We had Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs in to teach a couple classes and 24 amazing gals who took those classes and had a wonderful time. In honor of them, tonight the demo we're going to be doing is working with her double stick peel off stickers and the burnished velvet microfine glitter by Glitter Ritz along with some Copic markers. So I'm going to take the camera off me now and I'm going to move it down so it's on my hands and we will start tonight's demo. And hopefully you will learn something new about these wonderful stickers that uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs has. Okay, I think that's I think that's pretty good and hopefully I moved it slow enough so that you didn't get sick. Alright, so what we have here is a two-sided sticker. You've got sticky on the top and sticky on the bottom. And right now what's protecting the sticker is a clear plastic sheet that goes over the top. Now once you expose the sticker by removing that clear plastic sheet, it is just that, sticky and it's ready to be glittered or foiled. Um, I'll tell you that the burnished velvet glitter that we sell by micro, uh, by Glitter Ritz is absolutely amazing and it goes on these stickers beautifully. It comes in 60 colors, but tonight what we're going to be using is the highlight glitter. And the highlight glitter is a transparent glitter and it comes in warm highlight, cool highlight, blue, purple, green highlight, they all look white, but what makes the difference is the undertone of the glitter. The warm highlight has a orangey green undertone where the cool highlight has a blue purpley undertone. So that's what you're looking for in the highlight glitter. They'll all be transparent, but it's the undertone of the glitter. So tonight we're gonna be using warm highlight and I have already got one sticker sheet here that I was uh, playing with earlier. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my clear plastic off the top and expose the entire sticky sheet. Now you can just throw away the clear plastic once you've removed it. There's really no purpose in keeping it, um, none that we found yet at least. So right now I have got the sticker sheet sticky and ready to go. I'm going to take my warm highlight glitter and put my sticker sheet in and I am going to walk it all the way down. I want this entire sticker sheet to be covered with the glitter. So we've got it all covered up. Except for that one little piece right there. There we go. Now once I do that, I'm going to tap it off and I'm going to take my mop brush and I'm going to brush the glitter off. Now you can use an inexpensive makeup brush, an inexpensive paint brush. You just want something that's um, got a nice light bristle on it and uh, be gentle when you brush it off. Now what makes this glitter so special is that you burnish it with your finger. And when you do that, the glitter just comes to life. It uh, transforms almost. It changes color, it brightens up, it gets blingy. Um, we've heard it described several different ways. It gets happy. And by burnishing it, what you're doing is brightening the glitter along with setting the glitter onto the double stick sticker. So I have burnished my, my stickers. And I'm going to take my mop brush just one more time and just brush any residual glitter off. Now I've got some glitter here on my workspace that I'm going to want to clean up. So I am going to take my glitter magnet, which is a... Uh, cloth that picks up both glitter and embossing powder beautifully. It's a tack cloth and um, it just works phenomenally. It comes in a large sheet, it's bigger than 8 by 11 and what I've done is cut it up to smaller pieces about the size of the square of the packaging that it comes in. Now once it stops picking up the glitter or the embossing powder that you're using you just throw it away and if you've cut yours up like mine, you just go and get another piece out of your bag and use it again. So once it stops picking up the glitter or the embossing powder, just throw it away and get yourself another piece. They retail for $5 and it's worth every bit of the money. So I've got my sticker now and I've glittered it with my highlight glitter. And you could use it just like that. You could pull them off and use them just like that. But instead, I'm going to play with some Copic markers. 
So if you are not familiar with Copic marker, it is an alcohol-based permanent marker. They are refillable. Uh, we carry the Sketch brand. That's the, the one we like the best. It's the middle level of the Copic markers. Um, I can tell you that they retail for between six and seven dollars on average. And the beauty of them is that you never throw them away. Once you buy your colors, when you run out of ink, you have them refilled. And we have a refilling station here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. We'll have it by the end of the year and it will be a dollar to refill your uh, Copic markers. So unlike other permanent markers where when you run out of ink, you've got to then go replace it for two or three dollars, the entire thing. Once you've made your investment into Copic, you just refill them for years and years and years to come. Now, I'm gonna take my pen and I am just going to scribble right onto the glitter. And yes, you can color directly onto the glitter. And as you can see, I'm not being very accurate or, you know, being very precise. I'll take a little bit of brown and use it for the bottom. And I know it's not too attractive. Everybody's like, ooh, what's that? But when you peel it off, it becomes absolutely amazing. So I'm going to take my sticker and peel it off and put it onto my cardstock. And the glitter actually comes up and through the Copic marker, so you get all the dazzling color of the glitter, but in the colors of Copic that you want to use. That's one of the benefits of doing this this way with the, with the Copic marker and the transparent glitter. If I wanted my sticker over here, my, my uh, Christmas tree over here to be a different color, I just take my Copic and color it the color I want. If you were to do the entire sheet in green glitter, well then everything's going to be green glitter. You're stuck. You don't have the availability to change things around as you want to. So I was playing with some butterflies that I had done. Oh, let me show you just real quick some of the other samples of the Christmas trees that I did. So I've used my Copic markers and colored them in. This one I actually colored in red and yellow and green. And on these, I took some of uh, Elizabeth Craft's um, glitter dots and used them to accent my stickers. But then I was playing with some butterflies. And this is um, where you can mix a couple colors to make amazing, amazing blends. Let's see, let's find a butterfly. I've got a butterfly right here. And I'm just gonna, again, scribble away Not really paying too close of attention to where I'm coloring, just so long as my entire butterfly gets colored, ideally. And a little bit of color here, and a little bit of color there, and maybe some red. So I've got my butterfly now totally covered. And I'm going to take my blender pen from Copic. And when you're using the glitter, this really is a blender pen. It blends the colors together beautifully. But if you're using Copics on a paper, it's actually a color lifter. So, um, so just remember that when you're using your Copic blender. On paper, it's a lifter. And on glitter, it is a true blender. I'm going to take it and just gently mix my colors together. And again, it just looks like a big old blob is what it looks like. Just a big old blob. But then when I pull it off, what you get is absolutely amazing. Can you see that? Beautiful, isn't it? So let's do another one. Let's take maybe some purples and some blues and do another one real quick. So I'm going to look and find a butterfly. Looks like I've got one right here. And let's throw some blues in there.
and maybe a little bit of yellow. And take my blender pen. Kind of blend my colors. And it's just that simple. And it gives you the availability to color your, your stickers any color you want without being committed to anything. And again, I know, not very attractive. But when you peel it off is when the magic happens. Let's take that negative out. And there you go. Can you see those? They're just beautiful. Now I can tell you that when you use your blender pen on your sticky sheets with the glitter, you don't want to go in there and rub, 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 rub. It's an alcohol-based pen, so the alcohol is going to eventually affect the adhesive on your sticky sheet. So you just want to go in there just enough to blend your colors, and that's all you need. Then you peel your sticker up, and we still have the negatives that are left that we can do something with. We can peel those up too and use those. I've done some samples here where I used the B, and then I also pulled the negative, which is just as beautiful. Here's some butterflies, here's the negative, and here's the positive. And they're just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we have gone over our Copic marker, that it's an alcohol-based pen, and that they blend beautifully, um, that on glitter, the blender pen is a true blender pen, but on paper, it is a color lifter. We've talked about how we like the sketch better, um, mainly because they hold more ink than the chow, and that once you buy these, you never throw them away. You just have them refilled at your local scrapbooking store, or you come here to Scrapbooking Made Simple, and we'll do it for you. We've talked about Glitter Ritz Glitter, a burnished velvet microfine that comes in 60 colors, and we do carry all 60 colors, as well as highlight glitter um, that is used as a transparency for when you want to color or stamp or emboss on top of it. And we've also talked about uh, Elsa's Elizabeth Craft Designs double stick stickers, and they come in about 22 different patterns um, and are simply wonderful. So, I hope you have learned something this evening, and if you are local, please stop by the store. You know I'll be willing to demo for you anytime. And if you're not local, please shop at scrapbooking-made-simple.com, and uh, you'll be able to find all of these products online. Hopefully within the next week or so, we'll have it all up for you. So again, that's scrapbooking dash made dash simple dot com. All right, this is Stacy, and I will talk to you later. Thanks so much and have a great night. Bye bye.